Well, I was going through my head and thinking of books that I could possibly read. Then I remembered a book that was recommended to me in 5th grade. A book that I still hadn't read until this day. And a book that I finally read. And it was awesome. Hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the Book Quester, and today I got this great book, The Maze Runner, by, what was it again? <laughs> Just kidding, James Dashner, and well, let's get right on to it. Thomas is the main character. He wakes up going up on a some sort of lift, and he arrives at a strange place called The Glade. There, there is a group of rag of bedraggled boys and they are there and it's just some sort of weird place where boys are living and trying to create some sort of community and these boys are trying to escape the maze this is what's basically looking it looks like there's this there's the glade and there's a big wall around the glade and then there's the maze around the glade and if the boys can solve the maze and get out they are allowed to escape. No one knows why they are there. The only thing that they remember is their is their names. The rest of the memories are plain gone. They can't remember anything before they came to the glade. And Thomas feels a strange sense of familiarity of this weird place. He feels as if that he could possibly know this place or came here before. It's a very weird feeling like deja vu. That he doesn't really realize what it is yet. And he feels a very strange pull to the maze. He knows that these terrible mechanical plus fantastical beasts known as grievers, that if they sting you, they will kill you unless you give the person the serum, which basically makes you go through the change, which means that you'll become a psycho monster for a bit and then you come back. But while you go through the change, the effects are that you kind of see your past life and you kind of remember some of the memories before you know before they got put into the glade and basically it's it's like a bad i don't know if it's a good thing or not if it has serious drawbacks but you can technically see your memories so yeah i guess that's kind of good and then suddenly the next day a girl arrives she also seems familiar as well and he seems to be able to talk to her through telepathy and she is, her name is Teresa, and he talks to her and through her mind, and she's in a coma. Meanwhile, Albi, who is basically the leader of the boys, and Minho, who is the leader of the runners, who are the people who map the maze and try to get, this, get, the, get us the heck out of here, they basically, Minho and Albi, together they go and to see the dead griever, because there seems to be some sort of dead griever at the edge of the hill. However, we find out that it isn't dead and it stings Albi. And then when they try to get back, the sun is setting. And when the sun sets, the doors to leading into the glade closes up. Which is bad because they will be trapped out with the grievers and they probably won't be able to send them out. And when, Al when the door is closing on Albi and Minho, Thomas just doesn't know what to do. He runs out there and he tries to help Albi and Minho. Of course, Minho is furious. He thinks that there is simply no hope. However, Thomas doesn't panic. He uses the vines to climb and evade the dangerous grievers, and then, when, and then he becomes one of the first people, along with Minho, to survive the night. And they come back to the glade when the door opens again, and finally, they have managed to survive. Thank the gods. And meanwhile, Thomas is having more and more memories back, and the girl, Teresa, also wakes up and triggers a couple memories, saying that the maze is a code, wicked is good, things like that. And they are starting to think there is some sort of code hidden in the maze, and why is everything so familiar? And finally, as a final way, Thomas gets stung by the grievers and he goes back into his memories and he finds out what has happened he and her himself and teresa they had made the maze they have been tricked into making it of course however they had in fact made the maze and they are one of the reasons why they had made the maze 
that made the maze was these people. And the maze was a clue. The maze had a code within it, of which they found out, which they can find out, this code that can shut down all of the grievers, you know, the dangerous creatures that try to kill you at night. And they had, and they had found this weird hole that grievers seem to jump into at the cliff. You know, and basically, if they go into the hole, fight their way through the grievers, and find a computer and type the code in, they can shut down all of the grievers, and then then they can finally escape. So finally, they put that daring plan into action, and after several sacrifices, of which I will not name, they managed to come in. They managed to fight through the grievers with many many sacrifices, and they type in the code, and they're out. And they meet the creators. And they want to kill the creators, obviously, because they've been putting them through so much emotional trauma. And these creatures, they're part of Wicked, which stands for a World in Chaos Killzone Experiment. And basically, these are people... I, I mean, sorry. Wicked stands for World in Chaos Killzone Experiment Department. And these are people that are doing this cruel experiment on these kids in order for them to save them, whatever that means. And then finally, and then suddenly these rescuers, these rebels come in and kill the wicked person. I mean, by wicked I don't mean like bad or evil, I meant the, the organization. And the rescuers rescue the kids and they run away on a bus and that's where this book ends. Couple things, I feel like this is like a cross between Hunger Games and the Divergent trilogy. Um, mostly because the fact that, for example, Divergent, the entire thing is an experiment to get these special people. These special people who have all four kinds of emotion that wouldn't war with each other because they're perfect. That's the, that's the plot of the Divergent trilogy, and that really kind of matches with this. We're doing this as a kind of test to find out which people can be the best to save humankind. And Wicked truly believes that they are doing the right thing. And that's kind of why I think Divergent makes sense. It, it's very similar to Divergent. Of course, Hunger Games was that Wicked, the world is pretty much ended, and with those little departments and fighting each other, killing each other. That's really similar to what's going on in the Maze Runner as well. And that's why I believe I kind of felt like that cross Hunger Games and Divergent together in this great bug. And all in all, it was a very gut-wrenching and made my palms sweat a bit. And it was an awesome bug. And like always, your book coaster, Iron Book Coaster, would highly recommend it. I know it feels a bit erupt, but that's really all I have to say. It is very, very similar to favorite sci-fi series. And it is probably one of the greatest science fiction books that I ever read, even though it is a bit bloody and a bit heart-wrenching. Have a great day. Bye.